Welcome to My Split Mind, where curiosity meets the unknown. Today, we're diving into a story of unimaginable power hidden deep in the universe. Let's begin. There are monsters in the universe that don't roar, don't burn, and don't even move much. Instead, they pull on reality itself with a force so terrifying that it could rip the iron straight out of your blood and twist the atoms in your body into unrecognizable shapes. These are magnetars, the strongest magnets in the cosmos. And compared to them, Every magnet ever built on Earth is nothing more than a refrigerator toy. The weak magnets of Earth. Think about the everyday magnets in your life. A fridge magnet, the kind holding up a grocery list, barely measures at 0.005 Tesla. Already, that's about 100 times stronger than Earth's magnetic field. The most powerful magnets you can buy in a shop, those neodymium disks people like to snap onto each other, top out at around 1.4 Tesla, strong enough to lift hundreds of pounds of steel. Go bigger and you hit MRI machines in hospitals. These operate at about three Tesla, strong enough that if you walked in with a wrench in your pocket, it could fly across the room and stick to the machine. And yet in the labs where physicists push the limits, the world record for the strongest sustained magnetic field on Earth is about 45 Tesla. That required more electricity than a small town uses in a day plus 15,000 liters of water per minute to keep the magnets from melting. It sounds impressive, but here's the shocking part. Compared to what the universe builds on its own, 45 Tesla is nothing. Out there in the stars, magnets a billion times stronger are tearing reality apart. The birth of a cosmic magnet. To find these monsters, you need to look at what happens when a star dies. When a massive star burns through its fuel, it can no longer support itself. Gravity wins, and the core collapses while the outer layers explode outward in a supernova. What's left behind is a corpse star, known as a neutron star. Imagine squeezing the mass of the sun into a sphere only 20 kilometers wide. A teaspoon of this material would weigh a billion tons. And among neutron stars, a tiny fraction are even stranger. They're called magnetars. Only about 30 have ever been identified in our galaxy. Their size is small, city-sized, but their power is unimaginable. Their magnetic fields reach 100 trillion to 1 quadrillion Gauss, or up to 200 billion Tesla. That's 100 trillion times stronger than the magnet you have on your fridge. The numbers alone don't really make sense to the human brain. So imagine this. If you brought a magnetar within 1,000 kilometers of Earth, its field would strip electrons away from atoms, tearing apart the molecules that make up matter. Chemistry would stop working. Your body, your house, even the ground beneath your feet would unravel into raw subatomic fragments. And all of that would happen long before you got close enough to see it. The deadly reach. This kind of magnetic force doesn't just play with matter, it rewrites it. At distances where Earth's field is invisible to us, a magnetar's field could erase data from every electronic device on the planet. It could literally pull the electrons in your brain cells into new orbits, making thought itself impossible. It's a kind of destruction we don't normally think about. We imagine explosions, fire, radiation, but this is different. Magnetism at these levels is silent, invisible, and all-consuming. You wouldn't even know what was happening until it was already over. And yet for all their terrifying power, magnetars are unstable. They crack, they snap, and sometimes they unleash flares so bright that they can be seen across the galaxy. When the star quake hits, the surface of a magnetar is under extreme stress. Its magnetic field twists and pulls the crust until it fractures. These events, called starquakes, release bursts of X-rays and gamma rays that can dwarf anything else in space. In December 2004, one magnetar, SGR 1806-20, suddenly flared. For 0.2 seconds, it released as much energy as the sun gives off in 250,000 years. Earth was 50,000 light years away, yet the blast was so intense that it briefly ionized our atmosphere and disrupted satellites. To put it in perspective, if that same event had occurred just 10 light years away, the radiation would have sterilized our planet's surface. In a cosmic blink, Earth would have been erased. But here's where things get even stranger. These flares may also explain one of astronomy's most enduring mysteries, the mystery of fast radio bursts. For years, astronomers have detected brief, millisecond-long flashes of radio waves from deep space. 
These fast radio bursts, or FRBs, are some of the most mysterious signals in the universe. They appear randomly, last for only an instant, and then vanish. For a while, no one knew where they came from. Some speculated alien civilizations. But in recent years, evidence has pointed to magnetars. When their magnetic fields snap and realign, they can release not just gamma rays, but also bursts of radio energy strong enough to be detected across galaxies. This means that some of the strangest cosmic whispers we've ever picked up might not be messages from other worlds, but the aftershocks of a star tearing itself apart. And yet, the mystery isn't fully solved. Some bursts repeat, others don't. Some are far too powerful to fit current models. Magnetars may be part of the story, but not the whole story. Cosmic consumers. Some magnetars aren't just sitting alone in space. They're in binary systems orbiting a companion star. As the magnetar's gravity pulls material from its partner, the infalling gas spirals down and gets funneled along the magnetic field lines toward the poles. There, it slams into the surface at near light speeds, releasing X-rays and pulses. This is what makes stars like GRO J0008-57 so intriguing. They act like cosmic lighthouses, their deadly beams sweeping across space. Each pulse is another reminder that the universe isn't just filled with quiet, distant stars. Some of them are predators, feeding on neighbors, releasing immense flares of energy and bending the laws of physics with every rotation. The unsolved puzzle. Despite everything astronomers have learned, one question remains unanswered. Why are magnetars so magnetic? Ordinary neutron stars are already magnetic, but magnetars are a thousand times stronger. Some theories suggest it's because the original star's magnetic field collapsed inward and got amplified. Others suggest exotic states of matter deep inside, superfluids of neutrons, or even quark matter, something we can't replicate on Earth. At these densities, quantum mechanics and nuclear physics blur into a realm we can't test in a lab. The truth may be that magnetars are showing us a kind of physics that exists nowhere else in the universe, except in the hearts of dead stars. How close is too close? The good news? Magnetars are rare. Only about 30 are known in our galaxy, and the nearest one is around 9,000 light years away. At that distance, they pose no danger to Earth. But in a galaxy filled with billions of stars, it's possible that others exist closer, hidden by dust clouds, waiting to reveal themselves in a burst. If one ever did ignite nearby, we might not have much warning. A gamma ray flash would arrive at the speed of light, sterilizing everything before we even knew what hit us. The odds are tiny, but not zero. And that's the unsettling part. The universe doesn't need to send an asteroid or a comet to end life. It could just send magnetism. Magnetars are more than just stars. They're a reminder that the universe doesn't play by rules we find comfortable. While we build machines to push magnetic fields to 45 Tesla, nature casually builds engines of 200 billion Tesla. Fields that warp atoms, flares that outshine entire galaxies, quakes that echo across light years. And somewhere out there, dozens of these monsters are waiting in the dark. Safe for now, but close enough that their whispers reach us as radio flashes, as X-ray pulses, as fleeting signals of their existence. The strongest magnets in the universe hiding in plain sight. When you see a fridge magnet or hear the hum of an MRI, remember that these are trivial compared to the true extremes of the universe. A magnetar close enough to observe would give you no chance to marvel. Its magnetic grip would tear apart the fundamental bonds of chemistry, erasing matter itself. That's it for today. If you enjoyed this, hit like and subscribe. It helps us keep uncovering the mysteries of science, history, and the universe together. And remember, the strangest secrets are always closer than you think. Stay curious. This is my split mind.